Look at this beautiful jar of mini peppers. I've roasted them and I followed the recipe that is traditional from my region in Italy. It just uses some little capsicum that you can probably find at your local market and some parsley, some garlic and just a touch of olive oil. Let's check out how to do it. Everyone, today we're gonna make some uh, mini peppers marinated uh, Italian style. What we're gonna need, we're gonna need some uh, uh, small peppers like those ones here that I got from a local farmer's market, uh, garlic, olive oil and salt. These are all the ingredients we need. We're going to bake the capsicums or the peppers, capsicum in Australia, uh, in the oven at 200 degrees uh, for about a uh, half hour and then we're gonna put them in a jar with a little bit of olive oil and garlic and that's everything. Then you can keep them in the fridge for one or even two weeks if you cover them in oil and that's everything Yeah, we know. So let's do it. The very first thing we need to do to proceed of course is to wash the capsicum or the peppers actually under running water to remove any dirt or impurities that might have been in contact with the capsicum itself. Once we wash them, we are going to clean the peppers, removing the top part, and then we remove the inside, simply because uh, it's bitter and we don't actually want to eat it anyway. So in here I put it in my sink, however, be sure that I actually wash the sink before. So from each capsicum you have to be a little bit patient. You need to take it, remove the seeds, remove the white part, and do a little incision. As you can see with the incision, it me to lay the pepper down on the tray that then I'm going to put in the oven. So be careful, do an incision on the side of the capsicum so that you can put it lying down on a baking tray. And then I just go on and I repeat the operation for all the peppers that I have. The first thing that we are gonna do is to turn on the oven at 180 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Then we're going to take an oven tray and we're going to put some parchment paper on it. We need to put our capsicums or peppers lying down on our tray. Make sure that the peppers don't overlap with each other because this would interfere with the cooking process. What we want to obtain in the end is that the skin of the capsicum is going to burn a little bit so that it's easy to remove. Also we want the capsicum to steam and to get softer. Once we finish this operation, we put the capsicums or peppers in the oven for about in the meantime, what we can do, we take a garlic, an entire gar uh, garlic, and we chop it up really finely. Now we're going to prepare a jar, which is where I'm going to save my peppers. Remember that the peppers have to be covered by olive oil, so I'm going to start pouring a little bit of oil inside my jar. Next thing, we are going to add the garlic into the jar, at least half of it. Mm -hmm. 
Let's take the garlic and exactly like we did for the garlic, we're going to chop it up really really finely. We want the parsley to infuse with the oil and the capsicum. So, do a good job, take your time and chop it finely. We are almost at the end of this recipe. Now we uh, just took out the peppers from the oven. As you can see, they are nice and brown on the surface. They have a little bit of burns, but we actually gonna remove the skin, so it's not really a problem. I'm gonna use a plastic container because I'm going to put the capsicum inside and close the lid so that the steam and the heat from the capsicum itself is going to make the skin softer and easier to remove. Like for every job in the kitchen, you need to be patient to remove the skin and do it carefully so that you're gonna get an end result that is going to be very satisfying. Take your time, relax, watch a movie or listen to an audiobook while you do this operation, since it's going to take a little bit of time. And now we reach the, the last bit of our procedure. All we have to do is to put the capsicum, followed by a little bit of parsley and garlic, more capsicum, a little bit more garlic and parsley, a little bit more olive oil so that the jar is going to be filled up. And that's everything. You can preserve this one in the fridge for up to a month. And uh, well, enjoy it. In my case, I've actually eaten it straight away because it's so delicious and I could not stop eating. If you have enjoyed this video, make sure to put a thumbs up and subscribe. Bye!